Hey guys, what's going on? So, a few weeks ago I did this video on the silver shortage. I said that this is basically a myth. This is a just-in-time inventory issue and this is a production problem issue. And this is supposedly dealing in the supply chain of these wholesalers that sell bullion. And I'm sticking to that case. Now, if you want to look at a few weeks after all of this bonanza or all these stories that you're hearing, it's died down. And if you want to look at number one, tolving.com, right? They have a lot of silver and gold on stock right now. Before they're getting sold out, they're getting wiped out because of the smackdown. Manipulated or not, whatever you guys want to think, you just had all this buying going on, that Boston Marathon bombing in April. And a few days after that as well. So if you look at the price of silver, the premiums were out of control at that time. If you go to appmex.com, you're seeing prices six, seven dollars over spot for eagles. And then people are saying, hey, there's a silver shortage because of that. I don't believe the one bit. If you go to all these coins, right? 500 ounces of silver at tolving.com, you're paying 369 over spot approximately. Last time I checked today. If you want to buy a thousand ounce bars, right? A comics deliverable bar. You're paying 59 cents over spot. So those are cheap premiums. So people are saying that, hey, there's a silver shortage. But at the same time, you could get your silver right now. And they have it in inventory. A bunch of dealers are still selling it. And you usually get silver quickly from dealers like Tolving. I don't know about any other dealers. I mean, some dealers are having problems. I mean, trying to get the silver within six to eight weeks. I don't know what's going on their end. Is it because they're not hedged properly? Could be. Are they underwater on some investments? I think that could be the case as well. But putting that aside, I mean, you had a few other guys that not went after me, but they did not agree with what I said. You could see in the comments below on my YouTube video, and in addition, the SGT report, who I've actually exchanged friendly messages with, so I have nothing against him, but he or his editors did not agree with my video. And they basically said that, hey, the problems at the U.S. Mint when it comes to American Silver Eagles, they're allegedly rationing Silver Eagles. And then if you look at what's going on in Dubai, they're having 6 to $9 premiums for 1,000 or 100 to 400 ounce bars. And if you look at in Switzerland, they're having refinery problems. Well, let's try to address some of these issues, or I'll try to address some of these issues. Number one, the American mint or the u.s mint they produced 40 million ounces of silver last year or they've minted 40 million ounces this year if you extrapolate the data it's going to be somewhere around 40 to 50 million ounces of silver so that's not that much of an increase in the amount of silver i mean you have to remember that american silver eagles they usually use the mint or they use the silver from u.s mines and they're saying that, hey, there's a rationing problem. I know Brother John F. did a video about that a few weeks ago. But if you look at it, even if they're importing silver or not, I haven't confirmed that story. But if you look at, number one, the amount of silver that is mined each year is 800 million ounces of silver, okay? In addition, 200 million ounces of silver are recycled. So that comes out to 1 billion ounces of silver out there. And you have to remember that... 500 million ounces of silver are used in industry, okay? So we're seeing only roughly probably 10 to 20 million ounces of silver that's going to be mined more, not mined more, but minted more at the U.S. Mint this year. So 10 to 20 million ounces, that's not that much. And the premiums in Dubai, that was probably a just-in-time inventory issue, or they were underwater. I mean... Look at the premiums elsewhere. I mean, some of the premiums are higher, like at abmax.com and the other bullion dealers. But if you go to, if you want to actually buy all these silver eagles, not, yeah, if you want to buy all these silver eagles at Tolving, 369 over spot. And I know silver doctors, they're selling probably the same thing, 369, something like that, or 399 a few days ago. So, I mean, if there's a shortage, then guess what? You wouldn't be able to get all the silver eagles at tolving.com or at all these other places that are selling 399 over spot or 369 over spot. And the last point I want to get into is the fact that 
you have to look at industry. If there were a problem in silver and people acquiring it, guess what? The industries would have a lot of problem. You have to realize that, number one, we use a lot of silver in many of our electronics, in television sets, in automobiles, in laptops, in Android phones, in iPhones, and even batteries. So if there were a shortage of silver, right, then that means you would have supply chain issues in all of those industries. So have you read any articles of supply chain issues when it comes to number one television sets, when it comes to automobiles, when it comes to laptops, Android phones, when it comes to iPads or iPhones, this goes on and on and on. If there were a shortage, you would have a problem industry. And industry takes up 513 million ounces of silver, approximately. I don't see any story about that. When you saw that raid happen in early April, August, excuse me, April 12th through April 15th, around that time frame, did you see any stories of problems in the industrial side? I didn't see any. If you did see any, then send them to me. Post them on YouTube or send them to me in an email or message me because I haven't seen any. If there's a shortage, you would have problems in the supply chain. I didn't see any whatsoever. The only stories that you're hearing when it comes to the silver shortage issue is only coming from these bullion companies or it's saying that you're paying six to nine dollars over spot. I mean, that doesn't matter. I mean, what matters is if there's a shortage, then you can get your laptop computer right away. You couldn't get your cell phone right away. You couldn't get your television set right away. So I don't believe the story one bit. Anyways, I just wanted to follow up with the second video on this, and I'll probably do some more videos next week. This weekend is probably going to be really bad. My cousin's getting married, so I'm probably going to stay away. Maybe I may do an interview on Monday. I'm not quite sure yet. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a nice Memorial Day, guys. All right, see you later. Bye.